Hey, what's up you guys? On this Mazda CX-9, we're going to show you how to install Kurt part number 56338. If you're gonna to be towing a trailer with your Mazda, you're gonna need trailer lights. It's required by the law, and you will need these following tools. So let's go ahead and get that started. All right, so for our first step, we're gonna go ahead and remove our flooring right here. And we're just gonna push it to the back. And we're gonna remove the two cargo covers on the side. And then we're gonna remove our spare tire cover right here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and re uh, remove this cargo panel. And as you can see, it just has these three tabs underneath that you'll just pull up on. And then we'll repeat the same on the passenger side. And as you can see, this one does not have any clips. All right, our next step is to remove this center panel. We're just gonna pull straight up on each side. And we'll set that aside. All right, now we're going to remove these two cargo hooks right here, one right up here, and the other one right down here. And we're just gonna be using a 10 millimeter socket. All right, so for this bottom cargo hook, we're gonna take a flathead and pry open the cover at the bottom right there, and that will give us access to that 10 millimeter bolt. And we'll use a flathead to pop off the plastic part. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove this clip so we can gain access to our passenger side panel. All right, now we're just gonna pry our passenger side panel. All right, so when you pry open the passenger panel, you'll see back there is our plug where we will be connecting our trailer wiring harness. So before we plug in our trailer wiring harness, we're just gonna insert a 10 amp fuse into our fuse holder. All right, we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and line up our tabs and just put our panel back into place. All right, we're gonna go ahead and line up our cargo hooks. And then we'll go ahead and put the top one in. All right, so if you're gonna leave your four flat wiring with your spare tire, you can do so now. We're gonna bring ours down towards the hitch. So we're gonna remove the spare tire to gain access to a, that grommet. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove this grommet and this will give you access through the trunk. All right, now we're going to take our four flat and run it towards the rear of the vehicle. Okay, and now we're gonna take our wiring harness and we're just gonna run it over the hitch towards our welded mounting bracket. All right, now we're gonna take our grommet and we're just gonna cut a slit about halfway through using these shears. And then we're going to slip our wiring into that slit and put it right back where it was. Okay, now we're gonna keep our wire flush with the trunk and we're just gonna use some tape to keep that down so it doesn't get in the way of the spare tire. Okay, and then we're gonna take this leftover wire and we're just gonna bundle it up and zip tie it to this existing loom. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our spare tire back. Next, we'll go ahead and put our clip back into place. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and line up our tabs on our center panel. And we'll just push that down. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put our passenger side cargo panel into place. And we'll line up our tabs on our driver's side cargo panel and put that in. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take our spare tire cover and put that into place. And we'll take our two cargo covers, put those in. And then we'll take our floor paneling and line that up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use a four flat mounting bracket to secure our four flat connection. So we're just gonna use these screws into place. All right, we're gonna go ahead and secure our nuts on there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put our desk cover onto our four flat. Okay, we're gonna just line up our four flat harness into the bracket and it will lock in between those tabs and we'll put our desk cover to protect it. All right guys, that's how you install the four flat wiring harness onto a Mazda CX-9. Thank you for watching our video. For more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul hitch location or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.